Hello! I am 17 weeks today and it's Easter so happy Easter everybody! Um, I hope you've had a good day anyway. Um, I have decided to give up work because I went back on the Tuesday and I was there for two hours and something happened. So I'd rather not risk the life of my baby for 120 quid a week. It's just not worth it and obviously with being on sick pay it'll be a hell of a lot less and I can't afford to be on that so I decided to give up and hopefully get some um, work at home because there's a couple of companies around here who do use home workers so fingers crossed they can give me something so I can earn a little bit of money because I can't go on sick pay, no I can't go on job seekers for another six weeks or something because I chose to give up work not they didn't me. So that's all fun and games at the moment but we'll get there. Um, symptoms wise these have been so painful, unreal, they ache and like wearing a bra is uncomfortable and being in bed is uncomfortable like if they rest against something. Um, it's just a pain really but it's all for a good reason and you sort of learn to cope with it and find ways of sorting it out if you know what I mean um, and that's about it that's been continuous but yesterday I had a headache all day and then I started feeling dizzy about five o'clock six o'clock so um, I sat down for a while and then I started feeling sick. But I ate as much dinner as possible and carried on my night as normal. Tried to forget about my headache and tried to calm down and just relax. And then about one o'clock this morning I was physically sick which was horrible because it was a really bad bout of it and I pulled a muscle in my stomach. And um, But I haven't been, I haven't had that much sickness so I can't really complain and it's once every couple of weeks so it's not like I've been sick constantly and so it's not too bad and most of the time I don't feel sick at all so just have to sort of think about what I eat first still but yeah um oh I have a new craving I forgot to tell you for my last two videos I don't like gherkins at the moment, they leave a horrible taste in my mouth. I want pomegranate. <laughs> I made, well, I got my other half to take me to Tesco the other day to buy some because I so wanted some pomegranate. And um, yeah, I'm a bit obsessed at the moment, but that's easing as well. So, I dread to think what my next one's going to be because it's getting more and more expensive each time. <laughs> um. That's it symptoms wise. I went to see my midwife on Tuesday and my blood pressure's fine and I've got all my PATH results and my urine results and all that and everything's fine. Um, nothing to worry about there. And then I heard the heartbeat and that was 155 beats per minute, I think she wrote in my notes. And then the little rascal moved. So <laughs> um, no belly movement yet or belly feeling or anything and it's driving me crazy I just want to feel the little bubble move inside me now just so it makes it like more real because yeah scans and that this, you sort of think wow but I reckon that moment when you feel your baby move for the first time is going to be amazing so fingers crossed it's soon because I'm dying to feel it move <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, we've been sort of hoping that at 20 weeks we'd be able to find out what sex the baby is because like we don't want to go and buy stupid clothes like loads of unisex stuff we'd rather buy for the baby we're having rather than just like a load of beige and yellow stuff 
So fingers crossed, baby's in a good position at my 20 week scan. If not, I have got a 21 week scan booked as you know. Um, so if 20 weeks baby has been a pain, I'm hoping to find out my 21. And um, yeah, I just, I can't believe how fast it's going. <laughs> In a way it feels really slow because I'm waiting for my next scan, but in another way I think, oh my god, I'm always halfway through already. And it just doesn't seem real at all. And it's quite scary because <laughs> we've got the main bits, we just need clothes and bottles and... Um, that's about it really. Oh, and a mattress. Because we've got a cot, but we just need a new mattress because it's a second hand cot. Um, but other than that, we're pretty prepared with the big stuff, so it's just waiting and week by week it goes by and yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching anyway and I will see you next Sunday. I hope you like my video I put up two days ago, um, just a quick thing, I just thought it would be fun to do and actually see how much I've grown myself because it's quite strange I've, I looked at the pictures I was like whoa so yeah I'm gonna post a picture of my bump today because I've got someone watching me from the other window because I'm doing it in the bedroom again so I'll do about three or four snaps of that and add them to the end of the video and I will see you next Sunday bye